Yeah, Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Raka Kodash. Double honest to the apostles and the elders of GMS that rule well. And to all you brothers in the four corners of the earth of the Ophel elect and sisters, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Raka Kodash, Raka Thumb. Much love and respect to you all and your families. My name is Grasham. Isaac. You know, and this lesson we're going to focus on the character of Yahweh Shai. All right? And the definition of austere man. All right? Yeah. Right? This is on Google. The definition for austere. This is Luke chapter 19 and 22. See, and he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knowest that I am an austere man. Take up that, taking up that I lay not down, and reap it that I did not sow. Okay, this is on Google, the definition for the word austere. It's a, an adjective, severe or strict in manner or attitude. Right? Again, example, he was an austere man with a rigidly puritanical outlook. Synonym, severe, stern, strict, harsh, unfeeling, stony, steely, flinty. They say grim, cold, frosty, frig, icy, unemotional, unfriendly, formal, stiff. Right? It say um, solemn, serious, mean-looking, unsmiling. Right? Yeah. They say, um, of living condition or a way of life, having no comfort or luxuries. <laughs> and there is, there is our Lord. You know, in Zechariah, it say, um, look, you want to get it? Zechariah 9 and 9. Zechariah 9 and 9. You know, this definition, see, says a lot about the character of our Lord and how he conduct himself when he was on the face of the earth 2,000 and some years ago, right? And the scripture tell you that the servant, it's okay if the servant be as his master, all right? The servant is not above his master, but it's good that the servant be as his master, right? Zechariah chapter 9 and 9. It says, Rejoice greatly, O daughters of Zion. Shout, O daughters of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation lowly and riding upon an ass mm -hmm. and upon a cub. The, the foal the fold of an ass. Yeah, he was lowly. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't come um, you know, in extravagant styling. Yes, he was lowly. Yeah. You want to see some on it? Yeah. He was lowly. Lowly means that you, you, you know, you, you set yourself low at a low position. The scripture said he, um, he put off his glorious garment and he came in sinful flesh. You understand? Yeah. Damn. And there is the, to back up this definition of living condition or a way of life. Having no comfort or luxury. Yeah. Want to get on? Yeah. Is here? Yeah. No. John four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, um. The scripture that says, "The Son of Man will come to rest his head." Oh, 
But these scriptures they didn't add to the list. Just to the spirit, they're just coming, coming true to me. You know. Yeah, yeah, but your brothers know the scripture. The son of man have no way to lay his head. You know? Yeah, you get on. You don't want to type it in now. Type it in and get it in the picture. You don't need it. It's a yabba person. You see? It's important for we to, to know our Lord, you know, know the attribute of, of our power, right? Because our next name, the scripture used for him, or a title, is that he's a man of war, yeah. right? And when you go into war, you cannot be this 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 skinny teeth person, you know. You 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 understand it detrimental of battle, you know. It is it's, it's obvious you're gonna be wounded or you may not make it. Understand? Because your enemy, your opponent is not coming up against you to play with you. That's right. Yeah, huh? okay, you get it. Huh? Yeah, Luke chapter 9, verse 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto them, Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest. Mm -hmm. And Yahawashai said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. So, let me continue on the definition. It says syn synonym, strict, self-denying. <laughs> in Yahweh Shai, that scripture in Philippians, I say, he made himself of no repetition. I'll get it right here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Huh? Let me bring it up. And there was a precept came to me just now when you, when you asked that precept. Um, this is Philippians chapter 2. I know this is the one you want, but I'll read it. Philippians chapter 2. And let me read from, from one quick. You see, if there be, if there be, therefore, any consolation in, in Amashia, if any comfort of love, if any wash, um, fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercy, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love being of one accord of one mind let nothing be done to strife and be in glory see like, let me jump straight on to the point verse six. um verse six. 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 Yeah. Six. five it says let this mind be in you which which was also in a mashiach yawashai who being in the form of the mosai taught it not robbery to be equal with the Mosai, but made himself of no repetition and looking upon him took, see like, and took upon him took upon him the form of a servant and made him and was made in the likeness of man yeah that is it eh? you see um, and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and become and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. See, and to the yeah. point. No, and there is our Lord. He denied himself when he was here. Right? I say um, moderate, meaning he was balanced. Yeah. Right? Temporary. And there's a part of this the Holy Spirit to be balanced. Say temporary, sober, simple. You know how he carry himself. He was a simple man, right? Yeah, that's why they, they that's why they say, listen, this, this is this is the Messiah. This, he's supposed to deliver us. Yeah, you understand? Even though um, even the pilot didn't believe that he was a king, the king of um, the Jews. You see, I doubt the king of the Jews. <laughs> the, the the scribe and the Pharisees didn't even believe that he is. You see, it's not this David and, and Mary's son who we know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's how we, how we come. You know, but this time when he come back, he ain't gonna come 
and that styling are right, you gonna come glorious right okay. for instance look at john the baptist john the baptist they didn't dress him in great apparel you understand neither the prophets them of old they wasn't great men in in other words like dressing you know or showing all this big glorious power and all of these things even when they came to um elijah they say if thou be the son of, of man um if, if thou be the son of the most high um, is, um, Silaki, yeah? the, if thou be a man of god a man of god right yeah, Silaki, yeah. if thou be a man of god well it, well then you go back to it you go back to the son of god right yeah, but god. if thou be a man of god um well he said cast um send down fire, fire. Down from yeah send down fire mm -hmm. from heaven you understand so they was asking a question because this how low these prophets used to put this up. Yeah, the scripture need to be that serious. You understand? Out. Yeah. yeah. And sheep's clothing and yeah. God, God. Yeah, this is yeah. I was thinking about that too. Mm -hmm. Um Hebrews. Yeah, yeah. Hebrews eleven. Hebrews 11 37. Yeah, Hebrews 11 verse 37. Mm -hmm. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheep skins mm -hmm. and goat skins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the war was not worthy. They wandered in desert and in mountains and in dens and caves of of the earth yeah so that's how they practice them they, they that's how they was you know they, those were some of the clothing that they wear meaning they they they, they take that low the low position of it you understand and that's what happening today that's why the most high tell us you know don't don't worry this fancy garment you know wear sackcloth representing that we mourning yeah. you, you you mentioned earlier that um the servant is not greater than the master. Yep, yep. And we are mourning. And they're fulfilling the prophecy in um, Revelation 11, verse 3. Mm -hmm. They say we're going to be, be in sackcloth, you know, and that um, um, when, your, when your heart is render mm -hmm. or rent, rent. Yeah, rent your heart and not your garment, and not your garment you know, weep and mourn. When rent means service. Um, let me get this piece up here. Revelation chapter 11 and 3. You see, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two, two hundred and three score days. Yeah, both kingdoms, mm -hmm. southern and the northern kingdom. Clothing in sacra. Yep. All right. Now, um, it say, having a plain and unadorned appearance. <laughs> It's a plain, simple, basic, functional, modest, unadorned, undecorated. You see? It's a um, unornamented, unemblemished, right? It's a unfanced, un. Let me see. See that here. It even gets Spartan in. Spartan. <laughs> You know the spark needs to clear itself rough rugged yeah can. that's why he said um john didn't come eating and drinking but the son of man come eating and drinking and you say that he have a devil you understand so that's how the spark the gun used to be you know rough hold it for the meat and tear it <laughs> yes and i know knife and fork and these things you know what i mean yeah um at that guy got um going to spartan and he say showing all characterized by austerity Ooh. or a lack of comfort or luxury yes. or stay mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah 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 okay, um, isaiah 11 5. Isaiah 11 start with one you see and they shall come and they shall come forth a rod out of the stem of jesse and a branch shall grow out of the root out of his root and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, 
the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Most High. Yeah, which is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And shall make him a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Yeah, and this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Yeah, not carnally. You will move in the spirit. Right? With the word. And the spirit is the word, John 6 63. Right? And with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equality, equality, equity, equity mm -hmm. for, for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lip. Mm -hmm. Shall he shall he say the wicked? <clears throat> Five. Yeah. Five. And righteousness shall be girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reign. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. This is Luke chapter two, verse forty-nine. They say, and he said, and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? We see not that I must be about my father's business. You see, and this is Yahweh Shai since when he was 12 years old. His father and his mother was was looking for him. You know, when you read the 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 the, the, up, the verses up above, you know, when he was in the temple, he was listening to the doctors of the law, you know. And he was asking them questions and converting in the law, right? And the mindset that he had was to do his father's work. Straightforward. You know, he was strict when it comes to this word. Right? He didn't joke around. He didn't fool around with this word. With the word that, of Yahweh. That the Lord gave to him. You know, and that's how we're supposed to be, you know? Yeah. Remember the scripture said it. Um, let me see, let me get it quick. Because, I mean, hey, that's only the scripture that we be like our Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? So being strict, I join our phone. Right? Um, this is First Peter chapter 2 and 21. He said, For even here unto were he, were, were he called, meaning us, the servant, right? He said, because a Mashiach also suffer for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So if our Lord is, is us, is an austere man, is is obviously we are to be austere too. You understand part of, part of that, but it's, it's about a balance also, right? It's about a balance. Yeah. See, the balance is important. They mentioned moderate, moderate, right? Yeah. Temporary. Yep. This is John chapter 4 and 24. Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Say, say not ye, there are four months and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto ye, lift up your eyes and look on the field, for they are quite white ready to harvest. Yeah, look around. This place is wicked. Right? The scripture tell you that the harvest is the end of the world. Right. This place ready to, to be harvest. And in the book of Peter, it tell you that if he look for such things, what manner of conversation you should be in? In righteousness and in holiness. Right? In 2 Peter chapter 2, and verse um, 2 Peter 3 and verse 10 on Right? We're supposed to be... Um, this is a solemn, solemn time, right? We're not supposed to be joking around. We're supposed to prepare ourselves. He saw he's getting ready to come for us. We have to meditate on these things and be grounded and rooted in this truth. And don't make um, light things offend us, rather. You know, things of the flesh. Right? You have to really look out for the flesh. You 
No. This flesh is your worst enemy. Because what? It is self. And if you, if you, if you, you know, the scripture said no man ever abuses his own flesh. So, a man would always look for protect his flesh. But when you come into this truth, bro, that it, 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 is a flip. You're supposed to protect the spirit. Yeah, well. You understand? Because if you if you don't look out for the spirit, the, the flesh automatically gonna be destroyed. You understand? So so put away, put away the scripture said in um it was second second Ezra 14 and 14. They say what? Put up the weak nature. You understand? We're supposed to put up the weak nature. You understand? <laughs> yeah, Matthew chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished. You want more? Yeah? No, I. Right. Yeah, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 15, 16. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teacheth the way of the Most High in truth. Neither carest thou for any man. Hmm. And what is truth? Truth is the word. Yeah. John 17. Or empty, right? Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the portion of men. You see, that's that's how Yahweh Shai walk around. He 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 guard his loins with truth, like we read in um, Isaiah eleven, Isaiah 11 just now, yeah. with righteousness mm -hmm. and faithfulness. And that's how we supposed to be. Guard over the loins of our mind with truth. You know the full arm of the Lord. Right? For the days are evil. The time that we are heading into, they are very evil time. You know? Yeah. I think there is it if yeah, there is nothing else. Yeah, there is it. You know, so with that. We hope this video was very fine to your brothers and sisters of the hopefully left. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakal Kodash. Rakatam to your brothers. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakal Kodash. The blowing us to the apostles and the elders that we were. Shalom.